Hello, my YouTube family. This is the one and only India Russell. And I just wanted to make a video before the year ends because about two years ago, I posted a video called I'm 30 with no kids and here's why. And to my surprise, that video got a lot of views, a lot of feedback um, that I was not really expecting. Um, you know, I just was in my feelings at the time that I made the video. And I was just like getting it out there about how I was feeling very pressured um, to have children because I was 30 and everyone's on my case about it and why I really didn't want to have children. Um, I'm coming back in a new video because I'm 32. I just turned 32 this month, um, December 9th. And 2017 has been an interesting year for me. A lot of growth, a lot of learning, a lot of pain. And I honestly, in October of this year, October 26th to be exact, um, I discovered I was pregnant and I was super excited um, you know if, if you watch if you go back and watch my I'm 30 with no kids video it's about 12 minutes long and you'll understand more if you put those two videos together but um, I said I had found a great guy in my life and he wanted to have kids and I want to have kids with him, but it was just my own insecurities, my own negativities, and it's just my own fears about becoming a mother. So I was open to it, but I was still very hesitant. But like I said, October 26, 2017, I found out that I was pregnant and I was super excited, but my excitement turned to tears very fast um, because I actually ended up going to the hospital because I was in so much pain and I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't explain the pain to anybody. It was the worst pain that I ever felt in my life and I really wouldn't wish it on anyone. And I'm very stubborn when it comes to going to the hospital, but it was like unbearable pain. I dealt with it for as long as I could at home. And then finally I broke down and went to the hospital like I don't know what's going on. I'm having this bad abdominal pain. It hurts on both sides. I feel like something's moving. And I felt like an expansion. I don't know what was going on in there. So long story short is, um, yeah, found out I was pregnant. And then I also found out that it was a an ectopic pregnancy. And it had actually erupted. And that was what was causing my pain. And I had to have emergency surgery. So I went from shocked to excited to boo crying to very sad blaming myself like maybe I spoke this into existence because you know I've been so afraid to be a mom and I've just always said like I don't want to have no kids because where I come from and how I was raised and I don't want to be a single mom and I just don't want to have to struggle and um, you know I finally got this great guy and it took me two years to like really open up and be like, yeah, let me, you know, be open to it. And then it happened and I got so excited and then it was over in an instant. And, you know, everyone at the hospital, my my boyfriend was trying to prep me and, you know, tell me it's not my fault. Everything happens for a reason and that I should just be more happy that I'm alive because... Um, you know, ectopic pregnancies, depending on, and mine's went through the whole thing, it actually erupted. So if I didn't go to the hospital when I did, you know, I sat at home for like five hours in pain, refusing to go. So if I didn't go, I would have like bled to death internally. So that was the plus of it. But, you know, at that moment, I couldn't figure out why that was happening to me. And I couldn't figure out, like, why at this point in my life I, I'm excited. I have this great guy in my life. And I'm ready for this. Why would this happen to me? So I had a hard time processing it. And um, this was, like, right before my birthday, like, a month a month before my birthday. So I was like, this is going to be my early birthday present, 32. I'm going to be 32. I'm going to be a mom. And 
it just didn't work out that way. Um, processing it, I went from blaming myself to finding the positive because you have to find the positive and everything. And my positive that I discovered, I actually went back and watched my I'm 30 with no kids in here wise video. And now I'm 32 and so much has happened over two years that I'm very open to being a mom now. Um, I think that that has to happen to me to officially give me that missing factor that I was missing. Because even when I found out, I was excited. But I still immediately, the first thing that I asked my boyfriend is I cried. I was happy. They were happy tears. But I was like, do you think I'm going to be a good mom? Because that's always been in the back of my head because of how I was raised. You know, my mom had three children and she never my mom or my dad was never in my life my mom tried to get back into my life as a teenager but she always tried to be my friend and not a mom she's not a role model for myself as to what a mother should be um and you know I just kind of felt mo most of my life like I don't like my life I don't want to be here in this life and I never even thought of are reproducing because I didn't want someone my child to feel how I feel like you know why did you bring me into this world and I don't want to put that burden on anyone else so I've had to go through my own growing pains and um you know even if, though I was in so much pain that day my immediate thought was like how can I save it how can I save it I'll go through and deal with the pain for nine months if I can save it and it's like my own motherly instinct kicked in and it just made me realize that, you know, I'm not my mom. I'm not people that I grew up around that, you know, just aren't really nice to their own children and just make you feel like you're a burden and that their life was so much better before they had you and they can't get anywhere in life because they had the kids and their life stopped and... It's just like your kids are supposed to push you. Your kids are supposed to motivate you. And you're supposed to want your kids to do better than you ultimately. So um, I had to go through my own experience with that. And now I am like desperate to have as many kids as I can have. Because as you may or may not know, um, when you have an ectopic pregnancy and they actually took my fallopian tube and stuff on my right side. So I only have one side working now. So my chances of getting pregnant the normal way has been cut in half only have a 50 percent chance um and because this is my first time ever having an ectopic pregnancy the chances of it happening again is very severely high so there's a chance that i could get pregnant again with my last you know fallopian tube but there's a very high chance that it could happen again and then i'd have to pay <laughs> i'd have to get paid to get pregnant to get in vitro and try from there. Never in a million years did I ever see this happening. Did I ever think about this happening to me? Um, so it's just very eye-opening. Very humbling. Um, it's made me grow. I'm definitely not the same person. So I'm going out of 2017 and into 2018 with a complete different mindset. Um, very open to receiving. Very careful with watching my words. Um, that taught me, even though it's not my fault and this just naturally happens, it just taught me to be wise about my words and to be careful what I speak into the universe because for so long I had my own negative thoughts about being a mom and reproducing and giving, having that natural gift that a lot of people don't get to experience. So it was not a fun experience, but it was a life changing experience that has made me more open and I'm just desperate to pop out as many as I can get. If I could do four at a time, six at a time, let's go. I'm ready um, for some, you know, some little bambinos of my own. And it's so funny because, you know, just two years ago, I couldn't say that. I was very scared, um, very nervous and just feeling like such a shitty person. And just feeling like I don't have the right to reproduce and... You know, I don't want to continue the cycle of what I've been seeing and what I've been exposed to as growing up. You know what? India 
is a chain breaker. The cycle stops with me and I'm just ready to, you know, give abundance to whoever, especially my own and, you know, just teach them all the things that I know and stop looking at life through other people's perceptive um, perceptions and, you know, go through my own growth. You know, what you go through, you have to ultimately grow through. So I definitely grew through that and I'm definitely open. I'm definitely um, loving my life so that I can love and produce as many lives that I possibly have left. You know, because my clock is really ticking now, I'm 32, and I'm not getting any younger. And my man's not going nowhere. We girl, we're good. So we're going to practice, practice, practice. And I'm just hoping for, um, you know, good news. I'm just hoping for good news and a good outcome and, you know, a healthy birth or multiple births. That's what I'm looking forward to. It feels so awkward because I just couldn't even imagine myself with one. And now I want as many as I can get. So stay humble, man. Stay open and, you know, live and love your life and continue to break barriers. Continue to change your um, bloodline legacies and continue to advance and get better. Get better with each generation. Get better with time. And... You know, never knock anything. Just because you grew up a certain way or went through certain things, that should not shape or mold your life or shape or mold your future because you could speak something into existence and not even know it. So that's kind of how I look at this situation. But I also had to go through this situation for it to settle something in my heart to say, you got this, India. You can, you're going to be a kick-ass mom. You're going to be a great mom because I know kids love me. People adore me. So it was just my own internal thing. And I had to go through that for that to be the lightning bulb in my head to be like, do you want this or not? (laughs) And I definitely want this. So I'm going to keep you guys in the loop and continue to leave me your feedback. If you, if you're a female watching this, if you've ever had an eptopic pregnancy, please reach out to me because, um, you know, I'm still processing it myself, so I'm trying to figure out why this happened, and I'm very nervous about moving forward, but I'm not afraid to move forward, so there's a difference. So if you want to give me some feedback, you know, comment below, or reach out to me, follow me on all my social medias, anywhere, India Russell, and yeah, you know, 2018, looking forward to what the new year is going to bring, and I'm hoping to have some lots of lots of babies and just continue to be in love and continue to inspire people and continue to share my stories with the world, whether I cry or my voice cracks or I'm smiling and I'm happy and I'm sharing the knowledge. I will continue to come to you guys and let you guys know what's going on with me. And that's what I continue to do. You know, if you have a voice and you have a story, that makes you a storyteller. So um, tell your stories share your stories, and inspire yourself and others. And until next time, I will catch up with my YouTubers later. I love and miss you guys. Be sure to share and subscribe and continue to stay posted for my next video.